going to talk about clipping masks very quickly. They're a fantastic way to edit the shape or what's shown of an, of an image, also of your SketchUp file. So it's kind of like cropping that you might know from other programs. For images, it's really simple. For anything, it's really simple. You simply draw a shape over the top of something that you would like to clip. Then you select both of the items, right click and create a clipping mask. Very straightforward. I used a circle then, but you could also use a polygon or you could use a line tool. Any object that you can put over the top of something can be used except images. Now the same is true for viewports sent over from SketchUp. So this is a live SketchUp model, as you can see here. And I can use a clipping mask in exactly the same way. So I might decide I wanna get rid of all of the background color so I can use my line tool to click around this project. And again, select both, right clip, click and hit create clipping mask. It's a great way to tidy things up with not a lot of effort. Now to release a clipping mask, there's a couple of ways I can do it. I can double click on an object that has been clipped and it will then show me the original shape that I used to clip it. And I could edit this at this point and make it different. And now I could click outside of the boundary and then it will change that clipping mask to what the shape has been amended to. Another way I can do it as well is to right click and release the clipping mask. And then I can amend the shape and then create a new clipping mask. The key difference between those two methods is that if I double click and then change an object, I don't need to create the clipping mask again. I just need to simply click outside of the two objects that have been used to create the clipping mask. So that's clipping masks in short. I hope you enjoyed.